Hey everyone, Drew from Top City Gear here. Just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about this uh, flashlight that I've actually been using for about the last nine months to a year. Can't remember exactly when I got it. But it is the Maglight XL50. And actually it's a pretty good light. I uh, first found out about it through uh, Such's review of it here on YouTube and uh, th thought it would be a pretty good to buy at the time and actually turned out to be uh, one of my favorite lights uh, it is a 3 AAA battery and I got it at Home Depot for about I think it was $29.99 so it's basically a $30 flashlight and I think it weighs 2.7 ounces empty and like 3.9 with the three uh, alkaline batteries in there and the package here says the battery life is uh, 8 hours and 45 minutes on high and 36 hours on low that might be a little bit optimistic but it seems like most flashlights are a little optimistic when it comes to battery life and also uh, 104 lumens but uh, it's really a pretty good light it, uh, I, I like I said I've used it for work and I've used it for uh, EDC and it uh, works pretty good in those roles it would also uh, be a, a great uh, vehicle light you know if you had something you just wanted to leave in your car and uh, use for emergencies uh, this would be great for that for some uh, the EDC role it, it may be a little bit too big around it is basically an inch diameter I think it was actually like 1.01 or something, 1.02 in the uh, widest part of the grip, and then like at the head there, it's 0.99, basically an inch. And you know, in some pockets, uh, that might be a little bit bigger round. You know, something more like a a, a prion or you know, uh, was a micro stream. Streamlight uh, might be a little bit easier to uh, fit inside a pocket, but if you can manage to fit that in there, uh, it works pretty good. And the EDC roll, of course, I've used it in a uh, Night Eyes uh, Pockets Plus holster that I modified to be shorter, so it'd be basically the the right length for this flashlight. I've got a separate review. On the the night eyes here so if you want to check that out um, you know it actually is pretty good too but uh, there's actually a couple of things that I really like about this light that I haven't come across in any other flashlight that I've owned and one is the feel of the uh, on button and just real quick let you know it's got three modes a uh, bright a low and a strobe and the way you get to those is to press the button once, twice, or three times. So there's high, you shut it off, hit it quickly twice. There's low, and you hit it three times quick for a strobe. But uh, the thing I really like about this button is that it's actually very quiet. So if you need to be stealthy, <laughs> that uh, this would actually work pretty good for that. And the feel is just, it just feels so high quality. There's no, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's sort of a muted uh, feel. It's not a real harsh click. Um, and I mean, it's, it's, you can just almost, I don't even know if you can hear it through the camera. I mean, it's just got a very nice, consistent feel to it. It's kind of hard to describe. Unlike like uh, oh, for the Prion for example and I've taken the cap off that but you know you can you can hear how that clicks comparatively and so far another thing I've noticed about this light every other flashlight I've ever had it seems like at some point you know you're smacking it trying to get the light to come back on even I've even had to do that with the prion and especially Chinese cheapos like this one here 
uh, which are basically just you know one dollar flashlights you're always going to be smacking those eventually but this uh, this actually seems to have a pretty a different style contact system in there which is unlike any other ones I've seen I haven't seen every flashlight in the world so maybe maybe to some people this is no big deal but it seemed pretty neat to me if you look this is uh, the back cap and these are contacts here which made up at this end you've got those two two nubs that made up here and then I think this larger one here well I thought it might have made it up with with the cylinder but there's no paint scratched off there so oh, actually it mates on this little nub here and at this side there's also a little pointed contact and then this outside one here which mates up with inside the tube there I guess you can see that pretty good yeah it's probably better without the light mates up with that center contact and then that outer ring and it just seems like because all of these contacts are are points and they kind of get forced into their respective contacts when you tighten the cap down that it never loses connection it never has a bad connection so even when the batteries start to die it still has a good enough connection to stay lit you're not smacking it trying to get a good contact and there's also not a your typical uh, you know coil spring relying you know relying on that coil spring to, to force the pieces together which is sometimes inadequate I think that's probably where most flashlights get their uh, unreliability in terms of uh, connections from but this one I think this one here has got these two nubs are a little bit spring loaded but uh, when you stick it in there and tighten it down it really makes a solid connection and you don't even really feel it shake you know like with some with the spring you can feel it uh, the batteries and they're moving sort of like that one but uh, it actually it seems pretty solid and, and it's just it seems very reliable and I've dropped this a few times I don't even see a little a little rash there but uh, I haven't had any problems with it yet and I've, and I've used it quite a bit uh, the ergonomics of it are also pretty good. You know, it fits in the hand real nice. It's nice and easy to actuate with your thumb or your finger. Now, it's not super high tech. You know, with just the three modes. But you know, maybe a lot. Maybe you don't need that many modes. You know, and for the money, um, you know, maybe that's all you need is a high quality basic flashlight with a. I wouldn't say it's necessarily cheap. Some people might bock at a $30 flashlight but compared to what's out there you know in the high-end market it's it's a pretty good value and uh, I also like uh, how you can access the modes quick I mean if you if you were to use this in some sort of uh, self-defense situation where you know you needed the strobe light perhaps to uh, blind an attacker or something like that you know you can do that real quick there's not uh, a bunch of complicated modes that you have to go through sort of like on the Prion 2 you have to I think it's about seven clicks you have to go through before you get to the uh, strobe and it just just seems like it makes it easier to use uh, you know maybe that's not a big deal for you but you know I think it's nice it's nice to have and um, also another nice thing about this if you take this cap off you kind of your you know take the lens and the reflector out of the equation all you're left with is the LED it makes a nice uh, even circle you can see that there's no spot in the middle, there's no spill beam, it's all even. Which I have actually found is kind of nice for if you need a little bit of extra light. 
to uh, take a picture with, you know, maybe with your cell phone because you don't get that bright reflection uh, off of the object you're trying to take a picture of which, uh, you know, I can, if you look at this maybe this as an example you see that there, the light's pretty even but then if you screw that back on now you've got a big blinding spot there and then if you take the spot part off of there you know what you're left with may not be bright enough so it's just just a nice little option there also the button is recessed so it's got the flat bottom so it will stand up doesn't do too great on the on the towel here but there you go it will stand up and illuminate a room uh, if you ever needed to do that so I think that's probably probably all the features and all that that you'd probably need to know um, so I guess next we'll go ahead and compare to uh, I'll go ahead and compare to the uh, Streamlight MicroStream Prion 2 and it'll stand by the Maglite uh, 4D cell incandescent all right, let's take a look at this Maglite's illumination power. That there is high mode. And I've set the camera to have uh, manual uh, exposure and, uh, and also the white balance to try to keep everything consistent between flashlights here. So, it, so the camera won't automatically adjust to the brightness so you can try to get a better uh, feel for how bright each mode is and which flashlight is. So that's high on the Maglite XL50. That's low. I believe that is supposed to be 25 percent of high. So if high is around 100, 104 lumens. The uh, low would should be around 25. And then the strobe. Yeah, I will show how that compares to the 4D cell. Now this, uh, the color on that probably looks a little bit more orange or yellowish than it does in reality, but that's about the best my camera could do. Uh, so there's the 4D and the XL50. Now let's try the Prion. If you've got a Prion 2, you might be able to use this for reference. But there's Prion 2 on low. There it is on medium. And there it is on high. And that's the XL50 on high. Prion on high. So they're actually, they almost seem to have about the same brightness. Although the Prion's beam actually goes quite a bit wider the XL50 is more of a focused beam so uh, you may notice it may look brighter but it's actually less overall light output see the uh, prions beam goes out outside the frame of the camera where the XL50 pretty much stays all on frame and then compared to the little micro stream there it is there that battery might be a little bit dead and then there's the XL50 again. I feel like the XL50 is probably on low, pretty close to the micro stream, especially if it had a fresh battery in there. But uh, so hopefully that gets you an idea. Uh, if you're looking for a nice, simple to operate uh, flashlight, maybe if it's your first uh, journey into a uh, sort of a higher end, high quality. Uh, uh, LED flashlight uh, you might uh, check out your home depot and see uh, see if they've got one of these thanks for watching and stay prepared